Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I am bringing you a scrapbook process video. This is just for fun using some of my Wishes Ephemera and Flare from Cheeky Studio and some scraps and I really wanted to focus on using a cut file and making it very purple. And so, um, actually, I did this for the ribbon challenge over in the Facebook group. That's what I did it for. So, if you are not part of our Facebook group, go over there. We do have challenges monthly. Um, this one is ribbon from your stash. And as you probably know, if you follow me, I like to use stuff from my stash like we all do. But I just thought, you know, I used to collect so much ribbon and we kind of did this poll and checked out, you know, what people's interests were in using older product and unanimously ribbon was the winner and so we're going to kind of go down the line and challenge you each month with a list from what was nominated to be the most interesting so um july is ribbon and i think i did a good job i really like how it turned out i um you know use my sewing machine I have tons and tons of ribbon from you know my girls growing up and the fact that I've always been somewhat of a seamstress and a crafter and a scrapbooker of course so I have tons and tons of ribbon I'm pretty sure I could use my ribbon stash for the rest of my life and pass it on to my girls so not buying any ribbon anytime soon so here I'm just taking this lovely cardstock in a cream color and also this, it's like a metallic sheen. It was from a Die Cuts with a View pack and it's just a beautiful royal purple. And this pink is from my scrap bin. It's an older piece that I've just kind of been using to layer photos on, but I thought that these colors went well with the Wishes collection, and this is True's birthday pictures. So she turned 23 this month, and I bought her, because she's got my hair, okay? So <laughs> although she has tons more than I have, and it can grow super long, um, she still, it gets, it's baby fine, and it gets, curly but it's straight in some spots it's just kind of a hot mess so it tangles very easily and I've been getting a Brazilian blowout for about a year now and I just love it and I told true you know if that's what you want for your birthday it's gonna make such a huge difference in your hair and she is in love with it so that's what I got her for her birthday amongst other things and those are the pictures I took as soon as she came home. She was really, really pleased with the outcome. Her hair took four hours to do, so it was a little bit expensive, but you know, you don't turn 23 every day. So here I am taking some of that uh, scalloped paper and I just fussy cut it out in some of the matching colors. And then I dug into my ribbon. Now, one trick I do with ribbon is um, I, you know, I, I've raised four girls effectively, <laughs> two of which are mine. And so we've gone through quite a few cheese in this house, uh, the chi iron. And so um, I just use the chi iron when I want to straighten out my ribbon. I stuff all my ribbon into these large glass, that, what used to be called cracker containers that you can buy at Target and I, get them all wrinkled up and then <laughs> I go plug in my chi when I want to use them I trim them off and it just makes them nice and flat like I never even abused them and so <laughs> that is what I did to get the ribbons nice and straight but then I wanted to ruffle them up and I just put down some score tape and kind of just winged it I didn't really have a plan here <laughs> and I knew I wanted to use some of those scallops and I knew I wanted to use 
various ribbon. Um, this pink ribbon is a soft satin. It's super, super pretty in person. I end up pulling a soft green. Um, oh, and this is like a cream color. So it just, it looks so cute with the photos. Plus I thought of another idea to use ribbon. So I might have to challenge myself to do another ribbon challenge. <laughs> how, how funny when you sit there and create something and you think, I could have done this another way. So I do have another idea. But I'm gonna line these up the way that I think they work best. And then I'm gonna go back with my sewing machine and I am gonna sew them all down. Now I did, because I used score tape, I did get a little bit of gummy on my, um, sewing needle but if you clean that straight away it doesn't like mess up your machine or you know ruin your needle or anything oh so there's the sewing I just used a cream thread but I also had this pink tool in my stash and I love how soft tool is and so I added it as well so I guess it's not technically a ribbon but maybe maybe it's a cheater ribbon <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I did have to glue it down with some hot glue because I can't ever get tool to stick with score tape or glue or anything, but hot glue does work. So I trimmed out this little saying from a Paige Evans 6x6. It says, trust and timing of your life. And so that was appropriate for her. And then this happy birthday, I think was a cut file that came originally with my cameo. So it's super old and I'm not sure I've ever used it, but I did this day and I loved the way it came out. And it was on a piece of paper that I probably would not have used otherwise. And so that's one thing I love about cut files. I've said this many times, if there's a piece of paper, you don't think it's your aesthetic anymore, then use it as a cut file because it all of a sudden transforms that pattern that you may not have liked into a totally different, you know, aesthetic. It's just like this is just adding a lovely ombre of pink and it's not really an ombre intention like the designer. It, it was a doodle bug, I think. And it was heavily grungy and, and had brown and dark pink and some dots on it. And it was just kind of, I don't know, I think it was called double dots or something. But anyway, with the magic of cut files, you can totally change that into whatever you want. So I grabbed the Wishes Ephemera and I just love that little elephant with the balloon and I thought it would be cute having it come out of his nose um, or have him hold it with his nose, not come out of his nose. <laughs> but um, so I really like that elephant and then I also have one in the Ephemera that is blowing out flowers and you know I love flowers. I'm actually dying to make a floral set right now and um, I'm, I've been working on other projects so I'm getting there I'm getting there I also took one of the ribbons from the shop or not ribbons the bows from the shop and that's what that pink grogain ribbon is and those are really nice quality I really really like them I'm hoping I can continue to get them um, because they're such a great price and I can, you know, pass that savings on to you and it's just really pretty on a page. I love bows. I love hearts. I love girly stuff. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm just making some little clusters. I'm popping up those balloons and what else do I put on this page? I think I end up using some Oh, I do. I use some thickers called Wild Heart by Paige Evans. So lots of Paige Evans on this. I'm going to end up pulling in a flare from the um, Cheeky Studio Wishes um, collection. And oh yeah, the little present. I do pop that up a little bit so it stands up. And I think that's it. I want to say that's it. I really feel like I should probably go back and add some white acrylic 
like watered down paint and add some splatters but um, I'm not sure oh I do add some gold elements so I grab some that's what the thickers are wild heart so I'm gonna grab like a heart that says XO and then a banner that says today is awesome and then a little arrow that says perfect because it is her birthday she's 23 and she's just perfect in so many ways but you know we all boast about our kids <laughs> I guess I'm biased but she's just she's been the last just the last year she's had major maturity growth and she's ADHD and so she's always kind of struggled with maturity so a little bit of a late bloomer when it comes to that but man when she puts her mind to something she is all in and I'm just I'm so proud of her so I said I wasn't gonna lose it <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna lose it on this video um but I am very, very proud of her. It's been emotional lately because she is moving out this weekend. So sorry for the crackling voice. I've only cried uh, two or three times today <laughs> over this. So um, it's kind of like being in mourning, even though she's still here. It's, it's a very odd feeling as a mother when your child is moving out on their own and, and legit moving out on their own like I don't think she'll be coming back so but she's a big girl I'm super proud and I'm lucky to have her in my life I appreciate you watching uh, join us in the Facebook group for another challenge in August or share with us the ones that you made for July I would love to see them so I will talk to you later ta-ta for now bye